Hello guys and welcome to my review of Water Endrocross and uh, this is uh, this is a map made by Vixku and he's sort of an unknown forger that started making some tracks because he had some good ideas and uh, it's the first one of his that I'm going to start off with and Water Endrocross is pretty awesome because I complain you know, whoops uh, I complain a lot in my uh, Supercross reviews which I haven't done many but, for example, in St. Bernard, I complain a lot about two things. I complain about inconsistent tracks and tracks not having... Um, well, I didn't really complain about this in St. Bernard, but tracks not having anything that looks very good aesthetically. And this track sort of uh, nails both of those. For one, it's very, very consistent. Um, I honestly have not had any consistency issues with this track. It's one of the most consistent tracks I've raced. And another thing is this track is one of the better aesthetically looking tracks because it doesn't have, you know, it doesn't have much to it, but it just has a few things that um, that make it look better than other tracks. And the obvious one is the water. What he did is he put a grid under the water and um, now you can race on water. <laughs> which is very very cool. I love that little illusion. Um, because I've been I've been hoping for a water track and I actually had a track with a little bit of water on reach but because of some things on Halo 4 I'm not gonna be able to remake it unfortunately but he made a water track and he did a very good job. Uh, it might look weird on the camera the water might look a little green but trust me it looks awesome and also there's a bunch of trees and other things around the track that make it well, uh, make it look good aesthetically. So aesthetically, this is one of the best tracks that I have reviewed. Honestly, um, it could be, <laughs> it could be the best. But anyways, um, in terms of consistency, uh, when it comes to Supercross tracks, this one is by far the best that I've reviewed so far because, like I said, I haven't had any consistency issues with this track at all. Um, it's been very consistent, and I love that. I love that in a track because there's not many of those in Halo 4. Actually, um, me and my friend Turkey, um, for the CRL, we had to we had to go through and edit a bunch of tracks to make them consistent. We had to change a bunch of jumps and crap um, to make them at least close to consistent because they were so bad. And uh, we went through about ten tracks, and there was only one of them that. There was only one of them that we edited that really had no hope. And there was another one that was kind of inconsistent still, but that's only for people who didn't know how to run it. Um, like, I, I was watching the film, and people that complained, we edited Motor Speedway, and people that complained on there, honestly, were just... Um, honestly, were just taking uh, certain sections the way they definitely weren't meant to be taken. And I complain about that a bit, but, um, like... And so anyways, um, the reason some of those people that we were racing with uh, would have had problems on that track is that they were like not taking the berm on split sections where they should have take it, taken it, and they were taking it on split sections where they shouldn't have. Um, so that's probably why they had problems. So it wasn't really me and Turkey's fault. But anyways, um, back to this track. Um, in terms of fun, it's very fun. One thing that I love about it that also adds to it aesthetically is that when you land on the places with... Um, with water, it'll kick up like water and dirt up, and that just looks very cool. I love it. Like here, I'll give you a see right there. And when I land up here, you'd see a little bit of a splash. Probably see some in a little bit. Oh, whoops, took it a little too far to the right. You can see splashes all over the place, and I love that. That looks very cool. Um, so in terms of fun factor, it's awesome. It's a very fun track. It has a nice flow. Uh, it honestly flows perfectly. So it's, it's very consistent, it's very good aesthetically, it flows perfectly, it's really fun. And one of the things that is especially fun about it is, watch this. Look at this, I'm walking on water. Look at this, are you, are you kidding me? I'm walking on water. This is actually pretty cool. <laughs> it's kind of fun to do this when you're bored. But anyways, um, it basic, this, track's basic, th this track basically nailed the fun factor, the aesthetics, the consistency, um, the flow. It, it pretty much nailed everything. Um, so obviously, uh, this track's gonna get a good score. And now that I think about it, it's very tough to score this track. 
but when it comes down to it, I'm going to give it a 9.1. It's not a track that, um, it, it's not a track that I would give like a huge uh, 10 rating, but this is one of those tracks, um, since Vixku is like a start, uh, forger, like a recent forger, like ones that's just starting up, this is really good. Um, and I can assume that he'll make tracks like this, but even better in the future, and maybe even get higher ratings. But this one, I'd give a, a 9.1, just because that's what I feel like it is. I mean, it pretty much nailed everything, but it, you know, although it has perfect flow, it's still, um, it, it's like, it's like anything. Even though it has really good flow, it can still improve. Even though it's really good aesthetically, there are still a few blank sections. The water does a little, uh, does most of the work. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? It's very fun. <laughs> There's really nothing you can do about that. This track nailed the fun factor, which is probably what gave it a nine. Um, and the flow, the flow could also be a little bit better because although I love the flow on this track. Um, Although I love the flow on this track, there are a few jumps, like I'll show you here. Um, a lot of the jumps, you'll just, if you take the berm, you'll just completely over jump. So that sort of nailed, uh, knocks down the flow. But honestly, I think he could get a way higher rating if he makes the landings of the jumps to make the flow better. Um, if he adds a little bit more aesthetically, even though I think it was very good aesthetically. Um, and that's that's really about it. If he, if he improved on those two things, um, Whoa! I went off the track. If he improved on those two things, I honestly think it'd be up towards a 9.5 instead of a 0.1. But very, very good track. Definitely the best I've reviewed so far, and I'll see you guys next time.